From what I've been able to piece together. Hey, it's Sonic Doom Mario showing you how to do a speed run of uh, the level keys on Halo Combat Evolved. Without uh, doing the flood bump at the beginning, you can do it on Legendary. It's a little tricky, but so at the start of the level, uh, go into where the grunt and the combat form come out of, and you might not know this, there's an active camouflage in there, and it's gonna come in handy uh, very shortly. Uh, just ignore this fighting, you aren't gonna want to kill that uh, flood guy right there, get a shotgun. Uh, they're all too busy fighting to uh, pay attention to you. Uh, I kind of forgot the shotgun, I had to go back. Uh, and believe it or not, when you jump into this uh, hole and have to get outside the ship, uh, it does carry your active camouflage over. And this is where it comes in handy because you can use this active camouflage to just uh, run right through this first area uh, where the Flooding Covenant fight. Uh, there is a shotgun flood here if you can uh, try to get them and get a shotgun because you are going to need a lot of shotgun ammo in here. Try to do it but just run right through. Uh, and we can even get past this next section. This is usually where uh, your camouflage will start to run out. It ran out a little bit early for me there because I had to waste some time getting the shotgun earlier. Uh, but here, I just run right through, the Flood and Covenant are too busy, and up here I throw a couple grenades, there's a big group of Flood there. Uh, if you don't get a big uh, kill with the first grenade, throw another one. Uh, you can find one, maybe even two shotguns here, uh, if you're lucky. And again, uh, the shotgun ammo is key on whether or not you can get outside here. Uh, this outside part is normally the hardest part of the speed run. Uh, especially here when you have all these exploding carrier floods. Uh, I threw a grenade around the corner, I got a nice big explosion, uh, got six kills it looks like. And this part is probably the hardest part of the outside area. It's not the hunters you have to worry about. Uh, I pick up the sniper, I'm gonna try to snipe out a couple of elites, all while I've got all these infection forms bothering me. There's four elites in the back, you wanna kill at least two, maybe three. And sometimes the trickier part is the elites move around constantly and they might not be in that area. So the time can start to add up. I try to get out of here uh, in around two minutes. Uh, so here I was able to snipe and pick off a couple of elites. Uh, you don't really have to worry about the hunters unless they see you and they start shooting their fuel rod up at you. But most of the time they'll be distracted by the flood. There was an elite here. Uh, I'm able to uh, get rid of him. He doesn't bother me too much. Uh, in the next area there is an elite on the gun turret. Uh, I like to stick a plasma grenade on him. Uh, that's the easiest way to get rid of him. And get rid of the grunts. And then here's another tricky part while you're outside, you have to deal with all these flood enemies. Uh, I'm just going to let my shield recover there. Uh, coming around this bend, and this is where you need the bulk of your shotgun ammo while you're outside. These flood, they uh, come at you for a while, so uh, I just stay back, uh, don't get entangled in the explosions. And uh, again, this is where you need all the shotgun ammo, because you do not want to fight these guys with an empty shotgun, it's not fun. Uh, if you can, you can throw a grenade in there. I've got four of them, but uh, I was able to get rid of them pretty quickly and uh, keep advancing. And I think once you get past the outside part, the rest of the level isn't too bad to run through. Uh, I'll show you a couple of tricks that I use. Uh, but first, uh, we just gotta get through here. And uh, here we go. So, all right, we're gonna make up here. There's gonna be a couple of more uh, combat flood that come up, I think three of them, which I think they have an assault rifle and a needler, so let's get past that area. And in the next area, there's more flooded covenant fighting. Uh, I like to shoot up at the uh, flood at the higher ledges first, uh, just so they're not shooting at you when you have to get past them. Uh, you don't have to kill them, just hit them enough times that they fall and they drop their gun, and then that just renders them harmless. Uh, if you can't, again, you don't really have to see them, just shoot where the uh, plasma light is on their gun, and once you see that plasma light drop, uh, you'll know they're no longer armed. Uh, so here I'm just cleaning up a couple more things. Uh, there's one more combat form I'm trying to get rid of, or at least make him drop his gun. Uh, and now for the final part of the outside area where the grab lift is. Uh, the trickiest part here are all the elites. Uh, you don't want to try to get their attention. Uh, they'll be distracted by the floods you can easily, well, maybe not all completely easily, but you can stick some of the elites with the plasma grenades in. Uh, you can also get this overshield. Uh, try to run through. Remember, when you pick up an overshield, you're actually uh, invincible for the couple of seconds while the overshield is filling up, so you can use that to your advantage. It does come in handy uh, when you're trying to run through a level. Uh, so at the top here, we're just going to clean out the remaining enemies. Again, we already killed most of the elites, so having to deal with just one elite up here. Uh, especially with a shotgun, not too bad. And we're just going to keep fighting here until we're uh, hauled in by the grab lift. And now we're back inside the ship. I was able to get through there at a pretty good top clip. We should be able to get into uh, the ship's control room from here. So once we're back in this area, uh, we're just going to follow the hallways. There's a couple Covenant of uh, carrier forms here. 
Uh, we're gonna shoot them. Uh, obviously, we don't want them to explode in our faces. Uh, there's one, two, and then there's one final one around the corner here. We can probably just try to run by him. So in this area, instead of working our way down, we can just jump off here, uh, skip a section. Uh, in the corner there, I didn't, I couldn't really get it. There is health. He has another overshield, but I have plenty of overshield left, and you can't pick up another overshield uh, if you still have any uh, part of your previous overshield still intact. So. Uh, here, we're just going to go around the corner, uh, throw a grenade down that hallway, kill a lot of people, uh, a lot of flood uh, combat forms, uh, and we can, uh, some of them do have shotguns, so remember, you just want to try to keep your shotgun ammo up for the duration of this level. Um, we're going to throw another grenade here, and what I like to do here is drop a plasma grenade into the uh, room below, and it will knock out um, two carrier floods, just uh, wait for the sound of them to explode, and you'll know it's safe to drop down. I think there is one other carrier form, but... Uh, obviously, only having to avoid one is easier than three, so we're going to go around the corner, uh, blow up some more carrier forms. There's a large group of combat uh, flood, which I had a disastrous moment right there. I stuck an infection form with the plasma grenade. I'm able to get another plasma grenade off, and you can see it kills several uh, combat flood. Around the corner, there's a large group of covenant. I wish I had more than one plasma grenade here, but we can just drop that in and uh, it normally kill uh, multiple covenant enemies for you. So in the next section is another large group of uh, Covenant enemies. I'm just going to uh, back up, uh, not let my shield run out. And I'm usually very conservative with frag grenades. Uh, I try to use plasma grenades first just because they're harder to cut by. Uh, but you can see I just dropped another plasma grenade at the bottom of the next section, and it just wiped out that whole group of Covenant. So you want to run through here because there's a lot of flood enemies that begin to spawn in, and the longer you wait in that section, the harder it gets. Uh, so now we're on the second floor of the shuttle bay. Uh, if you have any plasma grenades, I like to uh, throw them into that middle section because there are several elites there. Either you'll kill them or they'll jump off the ledge and at that point they won't bother you. Uh, you want to try to kill them or at least reduce the numbers because they're going to start shooting at you. There's also another group of elites that appear from the room behind you and they start chasing you down. Uh, you want to try to back off to the side if you start getting hit and get out of their line of sight. They do get distracted by the flood so once you can get past them it's not too bad. And here we are in the next section. We're just going to run through... Uh, if you have grenades, throw them. Uh, just clear out this whole hallway. We're going to get to the next section. There's going to be more Covenant. Uh, and again, I'm just trying to clean out the infection form uh, in my face. Let's uh, kill the Grunt. Let's kill the Flood and go up to the next section. Uh, there's another large group of Flood in this final hallway, so we just want to uh, throw a grenade in there. Uh, kill as many as possible. And again, I like to save my frag grenades for specific sections of the level. Frag grenades are usually harder to come by than plasma grenades. Uh, so I try to eat them in select situations, which is why I go through plasma grenades first. Uh, if you need health, there's a health pack right there. Uh, we might have to come back to that. But yeah, here's where I like to save my frag grenades. Just toss a couple uh, in there. Just got a big uh, kill-tacular out of that. We're going to toss another one. We just got another uh, overkill. Uh, so yeah, this is probably your best use of the frag grenades in the level. Just I uh, keep tossing them. I'm getting a little beat up here, so I go back to this health pack. I just killed another large group of flood. Uh, so now we're into the final section where the captain is, uh, and there's another big firefight that we have to put up with. So, <clears throat> yeah, the hallway is empty until uh, we get to the episode title, the captain. Uh, and here, usually you could just sit back and let them fight each other, but uh, we're trying to get through here at a faster clip, so I try to captain, help out and... Uh, shoot the fading. Covenant, Please usually the elites are the cover ones to take down. And at this point, it's just, uh, kill everything that shows up on your screen. Uh, there are some Covenant that pop in from the back, so I'm trying to clear them out with grenades. Uh, up here is you just get this seemingly, uh, never-ending barrage of flood, and I just killed another group. There's a health pack right here. Uh, I, was, I had to use it a little bit earlier than I wish I could. Uh, usually I try to uh, save it for the journey on the way back to the shuttle bay to get out of the ship. Here, uh, I noticed the flood were distracted back there, so I'm going to try to avoid uh, killing them and just get into this room. And here we are with the captain. Uh, this is an unskippable cutscene. So if you want to know how much of an idiot I am, so when I was a kid, uh, I didn't even recognize this as the captain on the original graphics. I just thought it was this big plant that the Covenant had in their ship for decoration. Uh, when I heard that they were doing a remaster of this game, this was actually the cutscene I was most interested in seeing. I just wanted to see uh, how much better the captain would look uh, on the remaster. 
<laughs> uh, and you can see he's much more recognizable on the anniversary graphics. He's you cannot recognize any characteristic of him on the what old graphics. So again, we can't uh, skip through this cutscene, so we're just gonna watch it, I guess. Uh, and we have one more big firefight before the end of the level. And again, like the last fight, normally what you would do here is, uh, I just like to open the door. I'll let the, uh, Spec Ops come in at the first time we see them in the game. Uh, I would let them in, that way they start fighting with blood. And again, just stay back here and the blood will be distracted by the Covenant. 99% of the time, the, uh, blood will win this fight. And I'm not sure, maybe the blood keeps spawning in until all of the Covenant is dead, which is why they win. Uh, but again, we're trying to speed run here, so I'm trying to, uh, pick up the pace a little bit here and just, uh, kill the flood from a distance as they're going in. You can see we're at 10 minutes. The part time is 15. There's very little of the level left. And tossed a grenade, got to kill Trocity. Uh, so yeah, usually at this point, shotgun ammo is no longer a problem. Uh, and I'm just killing everything. It looks like we're all set, so I'm just gonna run out of here. There's one more health pack and you have to come back for it in this room. And I end up having to in this video, just out of caution. So we're gonna go down this hallway. Uh, we're gonna get this final checkpoint. And we're gonna, uh, get back to the third floor of the shuttle bay. So just watch out in this area. Uh, there's a couple more flood enemies. The last ones we have to deal with in the map. So, ahead of you and to your right are more Spec Ops Covenants. These guys are tough, you do not want to mess around with them. Uh, especially the elites that can sidearm grenades at you, they're deadly accurate. So if you have frag grenades, use them here. It's not really the elites that you want to take out, it's the grunts. Especially since some of the grunts here carry fuel rod guns. So I wait for my shields to come up, there's still grunts over there. And uh... Yeah, this is where I get a little conservative and just run back and get that health pack. And at this point, I think the only things that should be alive are those two elites. Uh, for whatever reason, this elite somehow survived, so I just went back and killed him. <laughs> Usually, he's long gone at that point. So yeah, there's the last health pack. Uh, and again, all that should be left at this point are the two elites. The one across from us, we don't really have to worry about. Uh, the elite that's to our right, uh, you can easily take out, and that's what we're going to do while we wait for the uh, Banshees and the... Uh, dropship to enter in the shuttle bay. So yeah, all that's left is that elite. There. Yeah, I guess I didn't kill the grub, but yeah, you can see he had a fuel rod gun, and that's why you want to get rid of him. Uh, and I also had to avoid that grenade that the elite tried to sidearm into me. And you can just see how strong the shotgun in the first Halo is. It's a borderline weapon of mass destruction. You don't even have to shoot people with the shotgun in this game. Just aim at them and they'll die. Like, it's that dangerous. So, here, uh, and I'm sure this is a level skip a lot of people know about, instead of, uh, Perfect. You know, working your way down through each floor, just drop down to the lower levels. Uh, wait for the elites to get out of the Banshee, just get in the Banshee and bolt out. Now the problem here, if you get in the Banshee too early, uh, it won't end the level, because you have to wait for Cortana to give her final uh, get in the Banshee and use it to get out of here. But I just bolted out of the uh, ship, that's the end of the level. Uh, and you can see that we were able to get under 15 minutes, 12.20, so we had a couple minutes to spare with the part-time. My personal best here, I believe, is 11.44 which I might have been able to go for that if I didn't uh, have to run back for that health pack, but I was just being on the little cautious side. I just want to show you that 